What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Croc, and today, man, we are breaking down Ambry Thomas and his game ceiling interception that catapulted the 49ers into the playoffs. Was he beat? Was he not? What coverage was it? We're going to get into all that and more right now. Let's go. Intercepted. It is picked up by Aaron Crocker over midfield. He'll run it all the way into the end zone. Touchdown. The Crop Talk TV Podcast. Podcast. All right, y'all. So let's set the stage on the, on the huge play that definitely sent the 49ers into the playoffs. What are we looking at here? Was was Ambry Thomas beat? You know, was he not beat? You know, did he get his head around for once? You know, all those things I know everybody's kind of discussing right now. We're going to talk about all that. All right. First, let's start off with just what the coverage is. 49ers came out in a two high. All right. And essentially what a two high coverage is, is, you know, it could be cover one, uh, two man, where you have the safeties, you have two high, and they're splitting the field in half. Uh, it could be cover uh, five. It could be cover two. It could be cover four. It could be cover six. But essentially, it's anything where the safety's responsibilities are kind of like deep, deep halves. So the 49ers want to come out and show a two high look. All right, they're disguising it. Shout out to D'Amico Ryans and his smart safeties. They're disguising a two high look pre-snap, showing uh, Matthew Stafford, hey, look, we're too high. We are protecting the guys on the outside. So if you throw a goal route, we're going to have two guys on it vertically. All right. Essentially, that's the look that they want to give. Before the snap, the safeties start to roll. All right. So once the safeties roll, that's telling Matthew Stafford, it's telling me, it's telling you that, hey, they're either, especially if the corners are off, they're probably rotating into a cover three, which essentially is what they did. So at this point, you have Embry Thomas. He's playing off the corner on the other side, Mosley playing off. And now you're kind of on an island vertically on anything vertically pushing with Odell Beckham by himself, if you are Ambry Thomas, and that he is. Now, how did he play this? He did a really good job of being in more of a bail position. He's running out of there. All right, he's running out of there. He has Odell in his peripheral vision, but he also has eyes through Odell to the quarterback. So we can kind of see both. At one point, I do feel like Odell maybe got in his blind spot a little bit more than Ambry Thomas would have liked, but he's in the bail. He's able to, you know, kind of identify both guys, and he knows he has a guy pushing vertically on him. Now, a lot of people I've heard say, oh, finally a 49ers corner got their head around. <laughs> well, there, there's a difference, all right? So you have man turns, you have zone turns, all right? A, a man turn is when, you know, maybe you're in the back pedal, you turn into the receiver. Once you get in phase, you can kind of, you know, lock them out, squeeze them to the sideline, and then look back for the ball. This was not that scenario, all right? In this scenario, he was in a zone turn. So at no point did he ever turn to face Odell Beckham. He was basically, had you know, had his back to the field the whole time, running out of there vertically down the field. Now, you want to let the gap close a little bit because although you have vertically pushing routes, you can still give up a deep comeback. So in the NFL, one thing I noticed when I was there, Man, they'll run 20-yard comebacks and stuff like that. It's crazy. 15, 20-yard comebacks. Uh, so you want to kind of let the gap kind of close a little bit, kind of a lot of bit, I guess, to where down there is even because you don't want to give up an easy, deep comeback route. All right, so you're running out of there. You're kind of feeling the receiver. Where is he at? And this whole time, Ambry Thomas does a really good job of having his eyes to the quarterback. All right, he has his eyes to the quarterback. From the time the ball is thrown, he sees the trajectory of the, the, the ball and he starts to kind of throttle down to eventually make a play on the ball. Now, Odell Beckham, he's in his dry phase, right? When he comes off the ball, he's digging, he's digging, he's digging. He doesn't have eyes on the ball the whole time like Ambry Thomas does. So Odell, while he's screaming down the field, Ambry Thomas sees the ball thrown, he sees the trajectory of it, and he's able to kind of settle down a little bit go up, high point the ball. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's underthrown. It was. But because he had eyes on the ball the whole time, he was able to see it underthrown. And he was able to adjust accordingly, as opposed to Odell Beckham, who's running his hardest to get out of there. Okay, yeah, eventually it looks like, oh, man, he ran by him, or oh, he has a couple of steps on him. But I believe that was only because Ambry Thomas saw the trajectory of the ball. Now, one thing we have noticed with Ambry Thomas, and for all the things that, He's kind of going through throughout his development process. We could say 
he's giving up some catches at the catch point. But he is typically in position. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, I think Emory Thomas saw the flight, he adjusted accordingly and made a play on the ball, as opposed to a guy just being able to run by him. This is a guy who ran a 4-3-7 at the combine. Now, is he a true 4-3-7 guy? I said combine, I meant pro day. But is he a true 4-3-7 guy? I, I don't know. But I do know one thing. Guys don't just run by him. He's typically in position. He's typically in position, especially if he's already in a bail. So from that standpoint, I think he made a terrific play, obviously. But I don't think it was just as much of a gift as people think. I think he did a terrific job of being able to see the plane of the ball, the way that it was on his flight, adjust accordingly, and make a play on the ball and really track it in before Odell is able to find the ball, which I think he might have gotten the ball kind of lost in the lights. That happens sometimes. I played some games indoors, especially when you have a visor on. You kind of The ball can get lost in the lights a little bit. I don't know if that happened for Odell. It definitely didn't happen for Ambry Thomas. He came down with the pick. Give my guy his credit. Big time play for the Rook in a big time moment, sending the 49ers to the playoffs. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Crowd Talk, Film Talk, whatever it is. And I hope you all enjoyed it, man, breaking down that play. Much love. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And throughout the offseason, I'm pretty sure I'll do a lot more of this. But I'll see y'all next time, man. I'm out. Peace.